My name is Gary Warnell and uh, I'm a Canadian born artist working in Finland. I've been working in Finland since the end of 1994 and uh, my work over the last 35 years has been uh, initially in ceramics and since I moved to Finland I've been working mostly with uh, digital photography. I think I'm inspired by uh, so many different uh, so many different things it's quite hard to pin down but uh, I think the way we live as people and the people that I meet usually inspire me. Very often my abstract works appear not to be connected to uh, those subjects specifically but in the background they're very much there. Um, works are based on I think the, the works that will be in this exhibition come from abstract moments uh, of being with people in a certain situation so that I'm capturing more of the feeling of that moment rather than a very specific sort of concrete subject. So I'm much more after the feelings of that uh, situation than, than the actual physical circumstances of that situation. Working with a camera, I'm very often around people, and working as a ceramic artist, I was working pretty much on my own, making objects from clay. And I realized when I came to Finland, and when the sort of gradual process of changing to digital work came about, that, that I was much more interested in, in being around people and photographing uh, the environment that I'm in, and interpreting those uh, images to reflect that feeling. So it's it's changed quite a lot and even now it's changing even more. I'm, I'm becoming much more interested in uh, in identifying those people that I'm working with quite clearly. So I've become very interested in portraiture recently and in um, in this kind of thing. So some of my uh, work that I did in a residency two years ago in Latvia was only based on working with people and I gave myself that project because I have a certain shyness which would prevent me from really approaching people directly and asking them to to, to take photographs so I, I gave that to myself as a kind of test to see how I could how I could um, change my approach to to working with people and that was very successful. It really, it really opened me up, and uh, in in another way. So the works that came out of that exhibition also have influenced the way I've developed my work in the last twelve months or so. My experience in Germany when I was uh, taking those portraits was how. Um, first of all, I'm uh, I'm not used to taking portraits, so I didn't know what photographers should do when they're taking portraits and I always see um, somehow a lack of knowledge as being beneficial because it frees you from the norms you know what's expected or so on I think even even when I ordered the lights for that exhibition I had to search on the internet because I had no idea what a portrait photographer would use for this and <laughs> and yet when I when I set up those lights and I started to shoot I was amazed at how quickly people felt at ease with me and would expose parts of themselves which I would imagine would normally take much more intimate relationship in order to achieve. So I was astonished at how quickly and how easily people gave themselves to me in a way. And, and this to me was extremely... Uh, uh, it, it was marvellous, it's incredible. And uh, as I said, uh, people queued for, for three or four hours or even to the next day to, once they saw the pictures going up on the, on the exhibition, uh, they, they, they just loved the idea of having their picture taken. And I, you know, I just said to them, I'm not a passport photographer, I'm not a portrait photographer, uh, I have no idea 
really who you are, but I want to, in the next 10 or 15 minutes, I want, I want us to have a kind of intimate relationship in which you give yourself to me and we find something about you in the picture and nothing more and just let's have fun. And they did and uh, it was incredible. The works that will be uh, shown in the in the Tampere exhibition will be mostly will be to a large part these abstract works which have come about from this uh, being with people in certain situations but they are movement based they are uh, coming from uh, these uh, situations where I have felt something but not wanted to capture it as a concrete event and the the names of the works I think give some clues as to uh, those those uh, circumstances I think uh, from a from a um, from a technical point of view it's interesting that they're done using an inkjet printer and that they're hand coated and so on but uh, ultimately this is not uh, the point of making work is not not to do with technique it's to do with the way that the the works are as as uh, just as they are on their own not not uh, you shouldn't really be thinking, I think, about uh, how they're made, but more about whether they, whether they reach you. I've done so much technical work, so it's kind of, it, it overshadows the content, but the, the reason the technical work is there is to provide um, the vehicle for that expression, if you like. My first photographs were of my environment where I was living and they were very strange pictures of street corners and objects which I found interesting. And I remember when I developed those, um, when, when I developed those pictures and, and showed them around, people went, well, what is this? And then I realized that, okay, I was looking at things in a way that most people weren't, <laughs> that it didn't seem to make any sense to them. So maybe that was kind of the seeds of this thing that, okay, I have a slightly different way of seeing things and maybe that's what an artist is, I don't know.